Hey, what's up guys? Andrew back here again today talking to you about Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation. Last time we got things set up and a paper account open up. Today we're talking about the walkthrough for the Trader Workstation on your desktop. Going to show you what everything is, how it all functions. Let's get into it. So when you open up the Trader Workstation for the very first time, it's going to look something like this. It may not look exactly the same, maybe different sized windows and different displayed information, but it is generally going to be like this. And I will walk you through what all of these kind of different boxes and tabs mean. Starting in the top right corner, we have our portfolio tab given by the little title there. It's going to show us our daily profit and loss. It's going to show us all of the positions that we actually own right now. You can see in this paper account or fake money account, I've got a little bit of Apple, 100 shares or shorting Apple, 100 shares, Amazon, Alibaba, Disney, Nike put, which is an option contract, Tesla, and a little bit of cash and USD cash as well. It's all shown there. So this is going to show you your overall portfolio, what kind of positions you are holding, what you actually paid to acquire them. Don't worry if this doesn't look exactly the same as the, the columns on your end. You can augment those and change those. We'll show you how to do those in another video. So it's also going to display your net liquidity, which is just the amount of money and capital in your account, your excess liquidity, your maintenance margin as well, and a couple other of the Greeks data bag up here. If you want to look at more numbers for your account, just make sure you go to the account plus button here, and that'll pop up a nice little window for you where you can actually see more of your numbers in real time and also see the market value and some of the positions that you hold at the bottom of the screen. Below the portfolio tab, you actually have a stock chart showing some data for Tesla right now and a one year line chart, along with some volume bars on the bottom and some RSI, which is a technical analysis indicator on the bottom, along with some lines on the graph. This will always just be your chart and you can actually move this around, resize it. I'll show you that in a second, but you can buy and sell from the chart, look in these buttons here, and we're not going to get too far into this right now, just going showing you exactly what everything is and what its focus is. This is where you see the actual data of the chart. And just remember, if you don't have market data subscriptions on for interactive brokers, which is feeding you live data in real time, you will not get up to date information on this. It will be 15 minutes delayed in your paper account, which I'm guessing if you're just starting off will be the case for yourself. Below the actual stock chart, you will have a, a news or news for the market, news for the portfolio, news for individual companies. If the news you want to be for the entire market, you click market. If you want it for anything in your portfolio at the top here, you click portfolio. And if you want to view anything that is company specific, you can actually type in company news and kind of add new tabs there and search for actual company news like Apple or Microsoft could be one that you want to do there. We'll just type that in and it will start giving you news for Apple. And then you could just kind of filter it by that. So that is your news column right there in the bottom, as it says, the news column. Going back up to the top left, we have the order entry area. This is where you're going to actually do your buying and selling of contracts or options or wherever it may be that you're going to trade. When you click in the chart and you want to go buy, if you want to actually click and buy and sell, you can do that up here as well. Buying is blue, selling is red on the Twitter workstation. And it's going to give you a couple of different things here. The bid ask mid spread is just the amount you're willing to pay or get paid for your uh, action within the trading workstation. Your quantity of shares is how many shares or contracts you want to actually put into a trade. You have some options for your type of order and you also have the price that so you can go in and actually update the price as well. The order for day DGC, IOC are just different time periods for when your orders are good for. And if you want to go ahead and change the uh, actual stock that you're doing this on, you can do this in the top left drop down as well. And it'll all update. Everything here is linked right now. So it'll all update for you with fresh new data. Once you have something you like, you would just either click submit for buy and sell, and then it would go ahead and it would give you an order message. And this is just telling me that it's outside regular hours. So it wouldn't go through until the next day. So I'm actually going to just cancel that. But as we go down here, we see the actual put and calls. This is just the options chain for SE, which is C limited. And you don't have to worry about options if you're not a options trader. This is just giving you the kind of the options that are out there in the world for this company based on different kind of intervals of time. If you don't need that, you don't trade options, you can just get rid of it and you can replace it with something else or blow up your chart or news or whatever you may want to do. At the bottom down here is the activity area. And it's actually going to track your orders, trades, and summary for the day. When you see an order, when you actually submit an order to buy or sell shares, or have an options contract, you're going to buy or sell an order. And once that order is filled, it then becomes a trade. So as you can see, that, that's SE order I just put in and a that Tesla order, which is waiting to be transmitted. If I click that button there, give us the same prompts. That's okay. Until these are actually filled, they will stay in the order area and they will become trades. As you can see, I made a couple of trades earlier in the day in this paper account, and those will actually become full on filled trades. They go get bumped from orders to trades 
and it'll end up in the summary as well for what the uh, positions are for the day. So I'm just gonna cancel these right now because they're not gonna go through because we're after hours here and cancel it. And that will bring us back to the main screen. On top of this, there may also be an area of the daily lineup, which is just a consolidated area of news that you can look at that Interactive Brokers is going to provide you that you may or may not want to use to your advantage. Again, there's a top 10 news stories. It will give you a little negative or positive for what is, what is their impact and effect on the market. It will give you some of the bigger kind of equities, the foreign exchange equities, and give you analyst upgrades and downgrades, plus an earning calendar for kind of earnings or uh, options expiries, things of that nature will be listed in the earnings calendar as well. You also have a little bit of portfolio news here, the same kind of stuff that you have in your actual area down here. So you can choose to use daily lineup or not, depending on your preference. So if you do want to resize some of these windows, all you have to do is go up to this little lock button in the top right corner, and it will allow you to get into the editing or green mode where you can actually resize these windows, move them around if you want to, you can have overlap. You never used to be able to do that. It has since been updated in the platform. You used to have to have these grid kind of covered at all times as well, but you can move them around, reshape them, rejig them, whatever you want to do, and just have them laid out to your preference, move them wherever you want to go. And once you're done, finally, all you'd have to do is click the lock button to lock them, save the changes or discard or cancel, whichever you want to do, click that, and then you are good to go. So there are the main areas and workspaces for the trader workstation on your desktop for interactive brokers. You now know what they are, what they do, what the kind of information they convey. If you guys got some value in this video today, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell. That way you are updated when future videos do release. And if you guys want to know how to actually update the stock chart section of the trader workstation, make sure you check out this next video. We're going to see how to actually add indicators, move indicators, and get the chart to display the data that you want.